A record 20 Australians were killed in quad bike accidents last year, three quarters on farms. For a decade, the National Farmers Federation's lobbied for tougher safety rules. It's not always you know, great to be out in the front when you're trying to lead something, a change, a change of practice, but it needed to be done. 70% of deaths were caused by rollovers, but from Monday, all new bikes sold must have rollover bars. G'day, Shane Webke here, Queensland Safety Ambassador. Former rugby league great Shane Webke features in a new Queensland government safety campaign. With 50 Queenslanders killed in the past decade, he won't have quads on his farm. 50 people being killed means that we're not getting the message ourselves, so someone's going to have to make us get the message. Dolby-based quad dealer Craig Hartley's behind a petition of 28,000 signatures to stop the laws. Around the country, there's been panic buying to beat Monday's deadline. There's a lot of people that um, have gone out to eight, four, six, because they just can't see them running their farm without them. These are his last, as the six major brands refused to comply and pulled their quads from Australia. They're basically saying that they could cause as many injuries as what they, um, as what they save. Beef producer Don Redden didn't think the laws would come in. No, I'll keep the old ones. I'll keep running them until they die. Yeah. Will you buy the Chinese brand? No. Why not? I just won't have the stuff. With their favoured brands gone, farmers can still buy quads, including this Chinese brand sold with a protection device. The market's growing that rapidly that we're, we're just struggling to get stock to supply the demand of everybody in Australia. Australia joins Israel as the only two countries in the world requiring rollover protection. Pip Courtney, ABC News.